Hey everyone, welcome back. Ether Gauge Global is getting version 2.0 earlier, and now we can finally try out Jinu, who claims the new top tier dealer position. Even though Jinu is a top tier dealer, her gameplay can be quite simple. Let's check out together now. Jinu is Divine Grace type unit and has this unique mark. This is Blaze Fire mark, but let's simply call it a mark. This mark can stack up to 9 times, and you can check the stack number through the highlighted O marks. Her normal attack consists of 5 animations, and last strike hits up to 6 times. Each hit of last strike grants a mark, resulting in 6 marks when fully hit. Skill 1 slashes the enemy 3 times. If you have less than 9 marks, each slash consumes 1 mark, providing 6, 7, and 8 divine grace respectively. Additionally, each consumed mark will grant Fire Feeder, which increases the skill damage by 2% for 8 seconds, and this can be stacked up to 12 times. Skill 1 can be used without mark, but in this case, Skill 1 does not grant Divine Grace or Fire Feather. If you have full marks, a skill will consume all the marks, then deals additional damage and give 25 Divine Grace and 9 Fire Feather. Cancelling the skill animation with the full marks will expand all marks. This skill cancel will be used in combo when you have highly transcended signature function only, so don't cancel the skill 1 with full mark for now. Skill 2 hits enemy 3 times, granting 1 mark per hit. While skill 2 is under cooldown, an alternative skill 2 is available if you have at least 3 marks. Alternative skill 2 consumes 3 marks and same as skill 2 hits the enemy 3 times and grants a mark with each hit. Alternative skill 2 does not interrupt any action so you can use it during normal attack, skill 1 or moving and dodge. Skill 3 consumes all divine grace and deals the surrounding enemies then get into some fate state, allowing Jinu to stay in the air. Let's call it a flank state. In this state, Jinu gain unyielding effect and fire damage bonus for every divine grace consumption. Skill 1 in this state does not have cooldown anymore but requires at least 3 marks to use the skill 1. Skill 1 consumes 3 marks upon using and grants 20 divine grace. If you have 4 marks, skill 1 consumes all marks and grants 80 divine grace. Skill 2 in this state consumes all divine grace and creates the circle that shackles the enemies within and deals the fire damage. This also lowers the physical, wind, and fire resistance of enemy for 6 seconds upon hitting based on the amount of divine grace consumed. Skill 3 in this state becomes an attack skill. It consumes all marks and releases a landing attack. Each mark increases skill damage by 3% and ends the flying state after use. This can be cancelled by normal attack, skill 1, and dodge. Skill 3 cancellation with dodge allows for quick movement. Extremity dodge deals the damage and if Jinu is in flying state, this effect can be triggered once every 4 seconds when Jinu just used dodge. No more attacks in this state become ranged attack and it helps to Jinu stay in flying state longer. Jinu can stay in the air as long as you use no more attack and for every 4 hits to enemy will give 1 mark. Ultimate skills deals fire damage and grants divine grace based on number of marks you have. One thing to remember is you cannot use ultimate skill in flying state. Only ultimate skill chain can be used in flying state. Even though we look through the skills and mechanism, the actual gameplay of Jinu is very simple. Start the combat with skill 3 and skill 2, then use normal attack to get marks. Once you get full marks, use skill 1 to gain the divine grace, then use skill 2 to lower the resistance and repeat the process. Just don't forget to use normal attack continuously to get marks and stay in the flying state. The control of Jinu is very simple as you can see, but the damage output is formidable, earning her a top tier dealer position. Blue code has a lower damage output and is rarely used. The main codes for Jinu are red or yellow code. Red code is very simple and good for a short term fight. This code gives attack and skill damage bonus when you gain and expand the divine grace, and can lower the resistance of enemy further. You can simply use the combo from beginning of the battle. Also, you can use Genjon 5 star functor for this code. Yellow code is recommended only when you have at least double S rank Jinu with signature functor. This code is more powerful in longer fight. 
you can skill damage bonus while increase the damage taken from enemy in flying state. But it's not a big deal since you will not get hit much in flying state. More importantly, the last code lower your critical rate and increase critical damage every second. It decreases critical rate by up to 63% and increase the critical damage by up to 280%. You can see the critical damage buff is huge but the critical rate is decreased a lot and this is why you need a signature functor. Let's check out the signature functor first. It gives some marks when you get into flying state and when the flying state ends. It reduces the number of hit for getting mark in flying state. Also, alternative skill 2 now does not consume the mark when you use it. Lastly, every time when you get full marks, it increases the divine grace limit, critical rate and divine grace gain rate, and this effect can be stacked up to 9 times. If you have double S rank Jinu, transcend tier is increased by 2. So signature functor increases critical rate by 36% with a full stack. You can get one Jinu per free and can get another one from trading zone or Shuang giveaway event. So reaching double S rank is going to be easy. With this critical rate buff of 36% plus level 7 critical rate enchant of 28% can get rid of critical rate debuff from last code of yellow code. This is why you need the double S rank Jinu with signature functor for yellow code. Next, you need to quickly gain full marks 9 times for maximum critical rate bonus from signature functor. I think double S rank Jinu with transcend tier 3 signature functor will be most common. So let's check out the combo to stack up the full marks in this condition. I'll show you the demonstration in normal speed first. Pay attention to the divine grace limit. It reaches full stack once the divine grace limit reaches 263. Let's break down the combo in slow motion. Once the stage begins, use skill 3 get into flying state. This grants 5 marks from signature functor. Use skill 1 to consume 3 marks and use skill 2 for additional damage with the shackle on enemy. Without moving, Jinu comes down on ground and it grants 5 marks again. Use skill 2, 1, 2 in orders. This combo uses the mechanics of mark that is expanded or gained one by one. This will charge marks to full, then use one mark, then charge your gain to full repeatedly. Wait for cooldown of skill 1, then use skill 2 and 1. Wait for cooldown of skill 1 again, then repeat skill 2, 1, 2, but this time use alternative skill 2 a little bit slower. This completes the stacking of buff, then now you can use the normal combo in flying state. If you cannot get the timing of alternative skill 2 and finish on 8th stack, you can simply use skill 3 to get last mark then start the combo in flying state. Of course you can play without using this combo but this will increase the efficiency of signature functor with yellow code. You can equip this new fire damage sigil and for red code you can choose either philosopher's fantasy or akron's oboe. For yellow code with signature functor, go for Griffin's Pride for additional critical rate. For incense, go for usual dealer incense for red code. However, for yellow code, go for attack and critical rate first. Aim to reach at least level 7 for critical rate first, then go for other damage options. And check out the chart for Worf on the screen. Jinu is highly recommended to team up with Ling Wang for ultimate skill chain as Jinu only can use ultimate skill chain in flying state. For the soul slot, you can add other buffer such as Hera, Okuninushi or Heimdall for now and change it to Gang Chen once she is released in later version. So what do you think about Jinu? Her damage was quite surprising for me when I played Jinu for the first time. The only downside is her playstyle can be boring for some of you guys, but her damage output is great and easy to transcend to double S rank, makes her very valuable character in my opinion. Anyway, I hope this guide has been helpful for you guys to learn about Jinu. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next one. Bye guys.